Simmons watching was just watching the Atrian Odyssey stream I did with Austin. That's a it's a good time. That game. Uh, yeah, that 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 looked fun. That looks that game looks weird. It I it's a fun time. It's a good like um I like. I like a dungeon crawly RPG, you know, like I like. Yeah, me too. I it was kind of a cool mix between a dungeon crawler and a turn based game. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. I think you'd vibe with it. it might be worth yeah. checking out. I don't know if you have like I'm, a jail- jailbroken DS or anything, but uh, I have um, a handheld that plays pirated games. Okay, then yeah. So. If you if especially if you can get a second screen for the it's um, it's super good at it has a ton of different modes where you can have like. Uh, one screen like big and one screen small and can swap between them. Um, so you can always see what's going on okay. on the second screen. Yeah. And then just like one button will just swap which one's big. The mapping uh, is just very fun with the second screen. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you I can change it to be even sized if you want. It's just oh, nice. smaller. It's fine. Is that a uh, Retroid? It, it's not. I have uh, I have the uh, the uh, Odin 2. Okay, because I know I you and Janine have talked about this before. We're just yeah, chatting I got an Ambernic. <laughs> just I got an Ambernic. <laughs> <laughs> I got an Ambernic and I loved it. I thought it was super charming. I got a, I, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it was like a 304, uh, the one with the metal case. Okay. Uh, and it was super charming and little and it played everything up through like Dreamcast flawlessly, uh, but it was a little small and it was hurting my hands uh to play oh. like it was just kind of cramped and yeah. and also i just have this i really wanted to be able to play ps2 because i never had a ps2 so there's all these games i'd That's never played wild. the ps2 rules um yeah i had an xbox and i love the xbox the xbox is the spiritual successor to the uh to the dreamcast for me uh, in a lot of ways you, you really <laughs> always got the underdog console is the vibe i'm getting from you now <laughs> Dreamcast Maybe to that's Xbox. True. Dreamcast to Xbox. Yeah. Uh, well, I did ask for this is an, uh, another famous run button uh, uh, story, but I asked for a PlayStation 2 for my birthday one year, and my dad got me a portable PS1, the PS1 that has the screen on it. Whoa. So I did, before I got an Xbox, I did want a PS2 and didn't get it. And so that sent me on the Xbox path for life, and now I'm an Xbox truther. Wow, I don't really believe. Really, I'm a non. (laughs) I'm a non Sony truther. Is really what I am. I just don't believe that the Sony systems are better. I don't don't believe in them anymore. I used to be a big Sony like that. Yeah, PS2 and PS3 was where I got everything. I got a PS3 that had the backwards compatibility, so like that was like the bridging was very easy for me to do. uh, and also, it was nice to have games for the PS3 because yeah. it doesn't have any of its own. It's um, a shame that Sony kind of quit backwards compatibility in a big way, and Xbox really has picked it up in a big way. Yeah, X- the Xbox seems like if you're getting a console, that's the place to be. Um, yeah. And then Nintendo um, is its own <laughs> subset. I may, you know, the weird thing, I may be, I may have been a, a, a PlayStation convert if it weren't for the cross media bar. I hate oh, the cross bad. media bar. I cannot stand it. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't really like third person action games. I don't like the cross media bar. I don't like the controller. And that's the only thing that that the Sony systems offer over the Xbox, which has its own like, okay, there's not very many uh, first party games anymore, but the controller is better and the UI is better. So that's my pick. I mean, I guess if you love the cross media bar and the controller, go for it. I like but the controller. To me, they're the same. It's all the peri- it's all those little things around the edges that really matter. Nothing else seems to matter to so me at all at this chat's point. saying that you're sounding a little crunchy. I and it's not coming through on Discord. Oh, it's something on my. How about end. that? It it could have been oh, the thing buzzing. Maybe I couldn't hear it though. Um, and they're getting my feed, so I might just turn um, you down a little and see if that. If I it's was also, peaking. you know, I was pretty close to my mic. Oh, and now let you're me, done. Let me just oh, see. I, I, hit, I hit mute instead of like, look. Yeah, okay. I, I've moved back from my mic. I was just leaning forward weirdly. No worries. Um, so um, I could have been clipping a bit. Yeah. I I, 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 I have meters and, and bars that I can adjust and will be doing mm. so. Um, have I ever told you the story of how I got my PlayStation 1? No. How did you get your PlayStation 1? So... Um, my i have a very like large extended family but only like one aunt that lives in canada and lives in like ontario specifically as well um on my mom's side and 
when I was a kid, um, like she would come over and like, we'd <laughs> basically, it was like, do my nieces and nephews like the whatever boyfriend I have right now. And one of them to ingratiate, uh, himself with me just gave me his PlayStation. <laughs> And then a week later, they broke up. Wow. And wow. I had a PlayStation with Spyro the Dragon and Tony Hawk. And That's nuts. That's was, great. I love yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's great. And now my mom and her don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I think I do remember now that you've added the I might have there, mentioned that last I think that yeah. you mentioned that a couple of times on 999, maybe even. You know what? I love repeating stories. Yeah. Um. It, hey, look! It happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. There's no avoiding it anymore. I've, I've, I've been doing this too long to have it. The best I can do is remember that I've told something before before I start. There's just no. I can't. Uh, there's no way that I can stop myself from wanting to retell a story it's anymore. It's really hard. Um, I have like a couple that I still actually haven't told on the show because it was like agreement with friends to like wait a few years for it to cool down before mentioning it which is really funny wow. in hindsight because it's not consequential it's just this it was before ga the games industry g games journalism uh fell apart and people were still trying to have careers in that uh, right right and it's just a funny story of overdoing it at a pax one year and i don't think i think everyone involved is out of games now <laughs> Um, I've also put on some the 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 options music while that balances out. What are these What are these stories that are that that people? Do you want me to tell it? To I can tell, tell yeah. the, the the. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to know what is a story that someone who wants to be wanted to be a games journalist but now doesn't. There's one detail in it that makes it funny okay. or embarrassing. Um, I don't know what graphic to put this on. I guess I'll just leave it on the playing nine nine nine. Um. So this is is uh, what I famously refer to as the two edibles story. Okay, um, that's a classic story. It's a cla It's a it's a classic name. It's a classic story. It's happened to many people. Um, I'll try not. To and it's so famous, you'd think that people would learn. Yeah. Well. So here, here's here's this happened. Um, God, this might have been before I was even on Friends of the Table. Um, this might have been like this might have been 2014 might have been 2015 something like that um and i went to i was covering packs for formerly video game choo choo currently games line uh if anyone remembers my era of plugging that um, I, I remember video game choo choo i don't yeah. rem i don't know that it was they, they rebranded recently yeah games line is formerly video game choo choo yeah uh still going strong shout out to them there's still i there's still know people over there um but i was covering that and i was uh, i was um with uh i'll mention my friend mike uh because i don't think he'll mind uh being mentioned uh my friend mike and i were sharing a hotel room and on like the first day there we're both like 20 year olds in fucking seattle this is before weed was legalized here we hit up a um we hit up a dispensary and we buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of edibles and we're like, yeah, we'll get through this over the weekend. We'll be like solid. Uh, and we didn't. So it was the last day. Of the, <laughs> the, so it was the last day of the show and we have six edibles left uh, or like seven even, I think. Um, and a friend of ours who I'm going to, this is the, the, the weed friend whose folly this is. And I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave his name out of it just to, okay. uh, as a courtesy. Um, so we were like, he needed a place to stay because he was crashing at a friend's, but they weren't home that night or something, couldn't get in. And we were like, you're tiny. We have a little couch in our room. You can, you can probably sleep on that and be fine. And we're all, we're like flying out the day after. Um, we ha and we were like, oh yeah, and we have like all this weed and we're going to like get stoned and probably like this was deep uh, you know not that was i this was a period where i was watching a lot of indie wrestling uh before i fell out sure. of it and now i'm back into it again right um it comes it, in waves it does it really does um <laughs> so we were like yeah we're just gonna get high and like fuck like fuck around and watch wrestling and like chill out after the, the now that the con's over and we're all extremely tired um so we mentioned like yeah we have two each and we're i swear to god we said we're gonna space them out <laughs> but I, I, maybe we didn't um 
So we, Mike and I take our, take our first one. Our other friend takes uh, both of them at the same time without telling us. Um, And we don't really know that something's going on until we're like, we're like comfortably in it. And he's staring off into space in the corner of the room while we're like just shooting the shit about wow. like stupid ki- like kicks and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then kicks and throws, kicks and throws, grapples and, and suplexes. Gimmicks. Yeah. Gimmicks, entrances, uh, finishes, booking. That's another word. Um, Was the British guy who hates the bourgeois there? You know what? He was actually. <laughs> yeah. I love him. <laughs> Zack Sabre Jr. I was like, yeah, wait, yeah, who is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, I love that. Um, yeah, so he was it's there. It's the only wrestler I know besides I feel the like, funny guy. Yeah, he is a funny guy. No, no, there's the there's all there's also a funny guy. Oh, which funny guy? There's like a there's like a um uh there's like a Mr. Bean guy. Oh, who, d- I think I know who you mean. There's Yano. a Japanese Mr. Bean guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, These are the two wrestlers that we watched when we were at uh Gen you're Con. Right. That's why I know these yeah, two. Yeah, of course. Um Yeah, so Japanese bourgeoisie not Japanese bourgeoisie, British bourgeoisie hater was there. Japanese Mr. Bean was not. Um and my friend was like, Hey guys, I'm not feeling great. And we were like, Oh, have you eaten? Um, and he's like, no, I guess, I guess some food might help. And like, we get him water and, um, I don't think Michael mind me sharing this. I love him for things like this. Uh, we went to like a burger place earlier in the day and he ordered two. And uh, when I asked him like, why'd you get two? Uh, He was like one for later. And he literally just kept put it in his bag and then brought it back to the hotel room and kept it there until he wanted to eat it later. Honestly, I respect it. Um, why would you, why would you want, why would you go out again when he could just get two and only go out once? you, You know what? I don't think like this and I feel like I could improve my life efficiency a lot. Do you know where um, this? I I developed this behavior because of the good burrito place that's too far away. Uh, being like, I could have two lunch burritos in a row if I get two burritos. That's pretty. That's, shout out to Anna's Taqueria. Shout out to Anna's Taqueria and shout out to Anna. Um, this leads to Mike bringing over one burger, the the burger. There's only the one burger. Bringing the burger over to Devin. It's like partially unwrapped. Oh, fuck, I said his name. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't going to say. I thought maybe we would glide. Past it's fine. It. We'll keep moving. Bring some burger over to my friend. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, and. Wait, hold on. You can. You can. I'll just. We'll do this over it. I'll thank do, you. I will do that. Thank you. Um, for, okay, cool. Nobody heard it. Um, bring the burger over to him and uh, hold it out, expecting him to take it. And. Um, Instead, what he does is he sort of just like he like leans forward and he just starts eating it out of Mike's hand like a baby bird (laughs) is kind (laughs) of like how I would describe it. And Mike and I are like, I'm on the other end of the room, like laying in bed. Um, And Mike, like on my laptop, I think I'm like, I think I might be like gussying up a transcript of an interview or some shit at this point still. Um, Uh And... Mike and I are just making eye contact, being like, oh, this is what there's something happening here. Um, he eats the burger. Um, d- he eats the whole burger <laughs> from the hand. Uh, I think mostly from the hand. I think eventually we got him to take it. But um, uh, that detail is a little fuzzy. Um, it seems like things got a little better. Like he was quiet, but still like. A li- like responding some more saying stuff now and then yeah um until like and like an like another hour or so goes by we we've already like hit we we've hit the point where we're like oh yeah it's safe for us to take our second edible which is a, that's a check of putting a gun up on the shelf real quick there uh-huh um i cannot imagine just just to put it out there. Yeah. I can't imagine living through a whole edible and going, all right, time I to do that again. I cannot emphasize how 20 years old I was. Like I, I also have been 20 years old. Yeah, I know. I know. I just like, it's the age where you do this sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, So we're like, it's like right after we take them that the next thing starts happening, which is he starts repeating our full names. Um, 
he says Mike's full name first, like first and last, first and last, first and last, over and over again. I'm trying to be careful with names now. Uh, okay. And then it's my name just for d- sake. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I'm so I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> um, start saying both of our names until we're both, and then I need you to look at me like after that. And so until he keeps doing that until we're both looking at him. Um, and then there's like a pause. He's like it i don't think he's looking at either of us but we're both looking at him and he right. knows that so he pauses right. and the next phrase and this is a phrase he's going to be repeating for the next two hours more than that three hours uh, all night he starts saying i need you to take me to the hospital um <laughs> <laughs> and w- i'm we're both in our pajamas we like like it's <laughs> tough to know that you don't need to take someone to a hospital but they yeah. keep asking that's a hard position to be yeah in. um i might i might switch to the i'm gonna switch to the screen just so the chat can be in this now because i feel like everyone's saying oh no after i said that needs to be documented <laughs> um yeah, so there is a a bit of us being like, no, man, you're going to be fine. Drink more water. Lay down a bit. I know this, like, sucks, but you're just really high. It's going to be okay. Um, this does not work. Um, and he keeps saying, I need you to take me to the hospital. I need you to take me to the hospital. I need you to take me to the hospital. Like, over and over and over. <laughs> um... And Mike's like, fine. And starts getting ready to go. And I'm really in my like, you you got this though, right? <laughs> like oh, I no. should wait here just in case. And I get the sternest, no, we should both go. <laughs> we both did this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were, um, for like context sake of how this looks, uh, Mike and I are both like, at, like I, I would say about half a foot taller than this guy. So we're like carrying him basically down the hallway of this like hotel that we scammed a game site to pay for. <laughs> Not scammed, a game site. Mike was working at a games website that covered it right. and then I got to get in on it. I scammed. Um, right. And we're like really worried that someone's gonna see us carrying this guy saying, I need you to take me to the hospital through through a hotel <laughs> and be like, oh, we swear we're not like murderers or anything. Um, we get outside and he stops repeating it for a second. Like he has pause now and then, but usually when he's talking, he's just saying, I need you to take me to the hospital. And then he he pauses and he's like, we don't he's like staring he stares off a lot because he's really high right he's just you know right we're not really yes. we're also both pretty high so we're not paying that much attention right because you had just both had your second we edible both, yeah um which is like that's the, that time bomb's ticking hey everyone it's still story time uh don't worry if you're late to 999 um he starts saying that's a bad sign <laughs> like a bunch and we're really worried that he's like oh dude i hope you haven't peed yourself are you like is your heart okay what's going on and then we look at his eye like after he keeps saying that for a little while we check his eye line and he turns out he's just saying that about the sign for the hotel we're staying at <laughs> um, he's like, Could, that is qualitatively that's a bad sign yeah it was really it's that's like really funny. one of my favorite things about it um I I didn't I forgot that the way the uh, healthcare system works in America. So I was like, do we have to like call an ambulance or something? And Mike was like, no, we're calling no. an Uber. We are calling an Uber. Um, right. And so, especially, you know, I don't want to be judgmental. This is a person that doesn't need the hospital. No, absolutely not. Don't worry. That's the moral of the story. Is that <laughs> they do not need the hospital, but we get to the hospital. No. Um, yes, they're going to they're gonna they're gonna write you a two hundred dollar prescription for time. Here, take, <laughs> and take water. this two hours. Yeah, it's listen. Um, we call Mike calls it an Uber. Um, first guy Mike goes up and explains it and is like, the guy's like, no, and just drives off. Doesn't want to deal with it. 
my it calls another one and is like can you go up and talk to the guy this time because i think having name i'm not gonna say here made them freak yeah, out they're probably worried that 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 he's drunk and he's gonna puke that's exactly it right and yeah. so i explain it to the next guy and but right after i say hey our friend took too many edibles he's laughs in my face and is like yeah it's fine get in yeah. um Mike is like, I'm going to call you another one in case he wants to like lay down in the back. Uber or drivers something. are the most never smoked weed in their lives or smoked the most weed in their lives. It's people. I don't nowhere know. in between. Yeah. <laughs> um, the so I get another Uber called um, for me because I, I don't know. Mike was like, yeah, maybe he wants to. He, it might be good if he lay down in hindsight. I don't think that would have been a good move. I think he would have gotten car sick, but I went with it because I'm you know, we've talked about how my state is. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm in the Uber following behind and uh, my Uber driver is not the, has smoked a bunch of weed. My Uber driver is very quiet and serious um, and I'm really stoned and anxious uh, and my second edible hits during this ride. Yeah. Right when, like right around when the driver like, I think misses a turn or like I lose sight of the car in front of us and I get convinced that I'm going to get lost in Seattle somewhere now. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm really on the GPS. I'm like, I think there's a turn up here. I think there's a, I think we're supposed to go this way. And eventually he lets me off, but whatever hospital we went to, like, there's like, we didn't, I guess when they got put in the Uber app or whatever, it wasn't specified that I was going to the ER or whatever. Right, because there's <laughs> hospitals have like nine entrances and they're all really far from each other. Yes, so I got stuck at a long-term center, which was pitch black. This is, by the way, 3 a.m. It's really funny to think like the Uber driver assumed that you were about to head to the long-term center in the middle of the night. It's really funny. Um, so I go in there and I talk to the, the security guard, <laughs> like, I'm by the way, like in my, basically in my pajamas still, except I put a hoodie on, um, and I'm like, go to this, uh, this like security guard receptionist guy there. And I'm like, Hey, did you see two guys come here? And he's like, no. I'm like, can I use your phone? I'm not from this country and I don't want to run up my bill. And he's like, no, <laughs> it just makes me leave and locks the door behind me. They wouldn't let you use a phone at no. the hospital? No, That's he was crazy. real pissy. Um, That's crazy. People that work at hospitals, you know, uh, shout out to doctors and nurses and the hard work that they do. Some of the worst people I ever met are nurses. They fucking are mean. Oh, yeah. They're so mean. There, it's it. I love when I meet a nice nurse, though. There's yeah, the, and it, yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, for anyone, some of them are amazing. Some of them are the the best people. I, it's like Uber drivers. There's no yeah. in between. <laughs> All people fit into two categories. Yes. <laughs> um, to anyone coming late, I'm telling a story about when my friend took two edibles at once instead of spacing them out um, while at PAX West. Um, it feels like. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but it yeah. feels like starting with two edibles instead of the classic taking an edible and 25 minutes later being like it's not working and yeah. then taking another that's it's very odd to take them both it might the have been that time. we don't actually yeah. know when he took both of them we just know that's he fair. took both of them very close to each other um i'm like in the middle this like area like feels like like a residential cul-de-sac that i'm in so i'm like in the middle it's the middle of the night i'm calling mike i'm running up my roaming number like my roaming charges like hey where the fuck are you and he's like listen don't worry about it i need you to go back to the hotel because i can't find his wallet um and i'm like okay can you i can't, don't like it cost me even more to use my like network can you call me an uber and he was like yeah 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 um next uber driver pay more in uber than the bill for the hospital almost definitely um but you know whatever i'm not yeah. paying um i didn't really consider that until you said that yeah it's also 10 years ago it might have been cheaper the economy i don't know um i swear the story is like at least halfway through um more than that so I have to wave down this other Uber driver in the middle of the night because she misses me at first. But I explain to her like what's going on, and she is she is a Uber driver who has smoked weed before. So she's Great. like, "Oh, that's really funny. Do you need me to drive you back 
to uh i can wait downstairs while you look for the wallet and then just drive you back if you want because i know where you're going um instead of being left in the middle of the dark like the the first driver did and i was like okay yeah sure totally i run upstairs when we get to the hotel i tear apart the little couch where he'd been sitting because he'd basically been in the same area the whole night i can't find it i'm like kind of freaking out a little i'm like oh fuck oh fuck because i'm 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 in it now you know you, you ate the same edibles that exactly that that <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no that's even better that's even better keith but it won't cut out my my audio like this <laughs> does <laughs> um so i i call mike again I'm like, Mike, I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Are you sure it's not on him? You didn't check it. Like, you checked his pockets, right? And I swear to God, I've never let this motherfucker live this down. Mike goes, oh, one second. And comes back and he says, hey, so I found the wallet. And I was like, I should have stayed at the fucking hotel is the real thing that should have happened here. Like, I should have. And with my age and wisdom now, I know that I should have just chilled at the hotel. But instead, what I do is take my own wallet out of my pocket, hold it very prominently in my hand, go down and tell the Uber driver that this is the wallet. Take me to the the hospital. In order to not be embarrassed in front of the stranger. Yes, very much so. Right. Um, Right. I'm back. I go to the ER. Um, I talk to the the receptionist immediately. Is like, you're with the stoned guys, aren't you? I'm like, yeah. Can you show me where they are? I'm really tired. Um, they take me through. It's a very quiet night, thankfully, uh, to the point where we hear that, yeah, everyone doing rounds is taking turns coming in here because they want to see, see the high guy who keeps repeating himself. <laughs> um, right. At one point, my friend is tr- uh, repeating the phrase 60 frames per second over and over again while he's hooked up to, a U- <laughs> to an IV. Uh, we, will f- we found out later that something he was trying, he was trying to talk about his BPM, like his, his like heart's beats per minute, but he just kept saying 60 frames per second <laughs> instead. That's very funny. Um, and w- the reason why we, I, I, we didn't tell this story because he was trying to uh, break into games journalism at the time was because one of his doctors was named Dr. Brad. So he started repeating Brad Shoemaker over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny. <laughs> Every time he came in to check on him and be like, are you doing okay? He'd just be like, Brad Shoemaker, Brad Shoemaker. I could not have guessed the punchline. (laughs) Yeah. Up until I forgot that this was even something about game journalism. This punchline doesn't work most of the time when I tell this story. (laughs) I'm so glad it does for this audience. Oh my God, that's so funny. The other punchline... And the twist is the doctor was Brad. It was Brad Shoemaker. He was pulling double duty. Yeah, when they go to when when uh, (laughs) when Giant Bomb goes to Pax West, they each do a shift at the hospital. Yeah, they're all on call. (laughs) Um, So the the last detail of this story that I'll share is uh, while we're there, he is once again in a in a state of saying i need you to take me to the hospital over and over again and mike and i in unison are saying you are at the hospital um and then he starts repeating i'm at the hospital and we realize oh the lag is starting to reduce so he starts to figure out what's going on he becomes a little more lucid apparently the like they the, like the nurse was literally like yeah he's just too high we put him on an iv drip to help like cycle his system or something it's just to keep him hydrated mostly it's just a charge of 400 dollars for yes that is literally is. that is mike has talked about the story as we didn't so much save a man's life as we did saddle him with a hundred hundreds of dollars of medical bills yeah um but my little bow on this is we found out the day after the reason he kept repeating himself was because he believed that if he continued to do so he could turn time backwards and stop himself from taking both edibles at once and that's why every phrase got repeated so much because he believed that doing so would activate like a reverse time, time stream his time powers yeah and that's a little 999 honestly it is a little 999 um, um and that's a, hey that's look if you like stories story. like that why don't you go and support uh, friends of the table at friends of the table dot cash yeah uh, throw your twitch subscriptions into our uh bucket down here uh Especially follow the if channel if you're not following the channel we're we're 
like 73 off from our 6,500 follower goal. The Ooh. random number that I put in every time we hit our follower goal is <laughs> it's, it's by increase it by a few hundred. I love that. Um, Keep doing that. They always suggest like, hey, you should increase. You should hit, make your goal like 25 higher than it is. And I'm like, what? 25? What? So I'm going to have to change it every three or four times we stream? Yeah, that's... So I put it up by a few hundred, and then I'm like, it's taking a kind of a long time to hit that goal. <laughs> but it's like, what kind of weirdo has a goal of like 63.25? That's so weird. That is that is the type of number that would piss me off. Yeah. Um, make it around uh, 50. Make or anyway, like, go to friends of the table. Cash. Yeah, there's not, there's, that's, this is a this we've had negative movement over there. Let's get positive movement over yeah, there. Yeah, I, hey. I love to see we've been below the threshold to start uh, Media Club Plus. That's since true. We started Media Club Plus. And if we get back over it and maintain over it, there might be something in it for you guys. Not Media yeah. Club Plus related, but you know, we go. Oh, we're not Media Club Plus. I mean, related. like people who are on Media Club Plus are doing it, but it is, it is, I think, going to end up being more of a Twitch and YouTube thing. Okay. Do I know about this? What is Jack what is are you posted, talking about? Jack and I are doing are thinking of oh, doing okay. a thing. We okay. we're not committing to it yet, just because Jack's very busy with production stuff right now. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, someone in the chat mentioned, <laughs> "I would love the horror game stream." You tease. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. We, we've. I think it came up in. It might have come up in the Discord. I don't know. Um, it might have just been us DMing about it. Uh, and I'll say this. You know, again, not committing to anything. Oh, whoa! The audio went crazy I know. for me. It, oh, uh, is it, it? Did that sound bad? But How's it did. Sound? It sounded like ah, like that. Oh, does this sound um, okay? Yeah, it sounds good now. Okay, cool. It just happens every once in a while. I think it's just the Discord share. I don't think it happens on the Twitch at all. I don't think it is um, either, but I want to make sure that your share is coming uh, through okay. Every couple days, someone is like, hey, are you going to like cover the manga after the um, Hunter x Hunter anime ends? Which nobody on the show has read. Yep. And uh, that's a hard sell when we've lost <laughs> Friends of the Table subscribers since starting the that's show. That's true um so tell your friends tell your friends about media club plus tell your friends about friends of the table cash let's go get get it up get on or get the fuck out <laughs> wait don't get the fuck don't out. get the don't fuck out don't, don't get the fuck out just get don't just don't. just get it just get in on it and and if you don't just still get in on it anyway, sorry i got too aggressive um do you want to do you want to play this video game uh 40 minutes into the stream no nope. okay See ya. I'm, I'm kidding. I do. I do. I do. Okay. I had. I got a. I. I. I drank my entire um, game drink. Do you need to go get during the drink? preamble? Um. No. I will okay. make Isaac bring it to me. Okay. Listen. That's what. That's what boyfriends are for. Yeah. I get him stuff during work all the time. Yeah. Okay. Should we talk about what we're trying to do with nine 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 now? Should we focus? Am I locking yes, in? Focus. So last time we got an, the another bad end. <laughs> We got the knife ending, I believe, is what it was called. We it was just said bad end, but it was the knife ending. When I got the achievement, it said uh, knife oh, ending. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot that that might not be on the stream. So now, what we've been told is that there is um, we need to hit these red markers in one playthrough. The chat can correct me if I'm wrong before we get this going. I would love if chat corrected me if I'm uh, wrong. I have one thing. I have one. Cor oh, the red. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I agree. What is one thing, Keith? Um, I misremembered where the red ones were, and I was going to come on and say, no, we have to do the central path, but the, that's where the red ones are. Yeah. Yeah. But that I, was just a miss. That was a, that was a misremembering. No worries. Um, so, yeah, I oh, guess. Is so loud. Is it really? Sorry. Yeah, it's like the burbling of the water. I, I can I can turn it down on my end easy. It was just like it's already at seventy. Hey, uh, there's a giveaway of the Hyron Bug Riders glass, except at the the ass in glass got censored. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! This is this is a Bug Riders Game Informer. Oh yeah. Yeah, get that that glass rules. You guys should should do that. Yeah, check out um, friends of the table that cash. There's like a bunch of shop. crazy stuff over there. Yeah, That's and wild. like, hey, stay tuned. Um, so should we just jump to this first? Yeah, I think so. Okay, four and five doors. 
I swear I saw doors. Jesse Deep Floss say take the five, but I want to double check. I'm also putting this back in adventure mode because that's that's streamer I mode. I thought we were finished with that topic. Five, eight, and six. Oh, I've had so many thoughts about this game since. The oh last my time god! We I need to send you something because uh, my. My boyfriend, literally, the first time I saw him after the last stream, he took out his sketchbook and showed me how he was writing out who could possibly be the killer based on the ending we just got. I figured something out. Oh, yeah? Yes. I mean, I hope I did. So, I've had the, the June thing has been, like, my number one thing forever and ever. Yeah. And based on like some weirdness with Ace and between Ace and June, I was like, maybe there's a second bad guy. Maybe there's a second zero and maybe it's Ace. Oh. And then what happened at the end of the last stream, which isn't on YouTube yet, but we uh, it is in the Twitch VODs. Um, uh, Junpei makes a really specific point of saying, Whoever stabbed me must have had a reason to get the the um uh the eight bracelet. And I was like, the only person that, that makes sense for is Ace, yeah. but but he can't get through with two bracelets. He would have had to have the ninth man's bracelet the whole time. And then once we left the stream, I was like, oh duh, that must be what happened. He must have had the ninth man's bracelet the whole time. Uh like I said it like as if it yeah. exonerated him, but actually, I think it proves that that must be what happened. And uh, I believe so it. now, now I think that there's two bad guys. Mm -hmm. There's uh, uh, because we still don't know who the submarine killed. Oh no, Ace was dead in the submarine. One. Yeah, Ace was. He got I'll... killed. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, but uh, so I think that the I think that the killer was Ace. And yeah. I no longer think that he's working with Zero. So maybe oh, okay. he's just a random killer, like how Clover lost her mind. Yeah, it was a, a opportunity kill. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to double check before I do, if I skip through to the choices, will that... And I'm going to stop doing that when we start getting on the path, but there's a lot of... <laughs> Okay. There's a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at this picture you sent me. It, isn't it great? So you, you've got one which has two tick marks under it. Two is crossed it's out. How many, is that's how many possible people could want, I think, like how many combinations of like a scale of nines you could get with that person and an accomplice. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and eight, eight is crossed out. Eight has nobody. So eight is maybe crossed out by default, even though it has not been eliminated. Uh, and then you have nine, two, eight equals 19, plus seven, plus one equals 27. Yeah, trying to get mark? digital roots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and pull this up because he said I could. Okay. Um, I love that. Not a lot of people have been eliminated. <laughs> no, it like it really it's really just like like he was like, I'm really trying to figure this out. I was expecting it to be a oh, like so a big. case with it. I, I was so expecting big. it to be a case where like uh, uh, a bunch of work was done to whittle it down. <laughs> What's gone? What's going on? Um, yeah. Uh, in OBS, you can right click transform fit to screen. Oh, shit. OK, thank you. Um, I made it disappear. Oh, there it is. Fit to screen. Yeah, it's. I love him so much. This is so funny. Yeah, it's great. Um, shout out Moose. Um, <laughs> I just wanted people to see. Um, yeah, we spent a lot of time talking about it, and then I was like, I think I remember too much from the sequels to actually uh properly speculate with people. So um, I'm I'm gonna let leave this to you for the most part. It is just math, yeah. It's just math. I think so. Anyway, based off of the of Ace murdering, because Clover had a reason to kill. Clover was driven mad by the death of Snake, mm -hmm. or the supposed death of Snake. Now it's one thing if if she knew all along that Snake wasn't dead, which we know is almost definitely true that Snake's not dead. Uh, in fact, I believe that Snake was in that coffin at the end of the last uh, recording. 
Wait, but she who? A snake. Snake was. Oh yeah, she thought snake was dead in the, in the last one. She thought snake yeah. was dead, uh, and we don't think snake is dead. Uh, yeah, we're, so, we're I'm full, like that is not a thing I know for certain. That is one of those things I'm not sure about. But like in my yeah, soul, we're pretty I'm sure. sure about it. I'm I'm sure that Snake is not dead, or at least didn't die. Then is the thing. Yeah. But uh, as long as we believe that Clover believes that Snake is dead, her killing everybody is is different than Snake. Uh, oh, sorry, than than Ace killing Lotus to get her bracelet. That's yeah. like a. Uh, he cold calculated murder for no reason. Other he wasn't driven mad yourself. by anything. And so that makes me think that he's the one that either orchestrated Snake's death or thought he orchestrated Snake's death mm -hmm. or because he was the first one back in the room, right? Or was it was it Santa? Now I'm thinking maybe it was Santa. It's been a while. I can't remember. I think it might have been him. Okay. Um, um, could somebody... I, I sorry, I think I don't know if I asked this or if I if we got caught up in listen, the speculation's the like most fun part of this game. Um if I oh I'm doing it. Oh no. If I skip ahead, right. is it gonna is it gonna get mad at me about getting to the progress or am I able to like scoot down the route until we get new stuff? The choices My, don't matter, just you... doors. Choices don't matter, don't just doors. Okay, great. Skipping is very safe. Okay, cool. Cause I I I just wanna make sure. Cause I don't wanna I don't want to fuck us here. Well, cuz we can cuz now we can talk about our speculations and stuff why and like go recap things while this goes. Yeah. Um choices do matter. It's the line on the flow chart. Okay, we want 5 here. Yeah. Um so anyway, I thought that Snake was or uh, Ace was maybe evil and working yeah. with Zero, but now I think that that Ace is just evil outside of Zero because why would he be trying to escape by like gaming the rules. If he was zero, he'd be acting like June and like slowing everybody down because he's safe the whole time. He wouldn't have to kill Lotus to escape. Yeah. If if the game was his game. Yeah, you're right. There's also like, did you bring up the zero number bracelet? that that's mm -hmm. like a thing okay because not today like, sorry we've talked about we've it. talked we about that but it. like in theory that is like always like that would be available to whoever zero and i don't think he'd need to kill to uh, he'd need to kill lotus to get that one right okay this yeah. is new stuff so it's gonna i'm gonna put it on auto no okay great apparently it'll automatically stop the skip when new lines mm -hmm. occur wait hold on a second i don't which one is door five something's is that off oh Eight plus three Ooh. plus six plus five is twenty-two. So two plus two is four. Root of twenty-two. Two plus two equals four. It worked. I got a second drink. It's four. Hell yeah. What's Out the second drink? Four bracelet numbers. Uh, this is a is um a delirium tremens Belgian. Then we can go into door Wonderful. four. Hell yeah. yeah. I just got a Gatorade. That worked down well. So the team assignments will be. Like I love Gatorade. This. I do too. Seven snake, clover, and eight. Oh, this wasn't the they door pick, it was the root five. tutorial. That's really funny. Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. <laughs> so we just accidentally were dumb. Are these really the teams I want? No. We Beyond pick no fives. here. What remains of the ninth man? So it is new dialogue, at least, because that just means we're smart. Back to auto. I can't remember my hotkeys for this game. I wish Otto was faster. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Otto, my slow ass friend. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. Then let's go through door number. Oh yeah, because we'd have to go with June. Door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I, I, the, I if the body is important to this run through, I bet we find out what Snake's deal is at the ending. That's it's my hope. It's fun that uh, Junpei looks like he's underwater when he's thinking. Or should I stop? Yeah, you know? Or like he's looking down into a black pool. All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. He's, Shall uh, we go? He's scrying. 
Yeah, he's scrying. I'm going through door Big five. scry guy. He's a scry baby. Oh, that's better than mine. We're over there too. What was yours? I just said a big scry guy because it rhymed. Oh. <laughs> the door's not going anywhere. And he's disgraced. Slow down. Disgraced. Disgraced. Right. <laughs> I'm Australian. Disgraced. Disgraced. <laughs> it had to be door five. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm Junpai. I'm disgraced. <laughs> I'm disgraced. I'm disgraced. Sorry oh, to no, our I'm Australian disguised. listeners. Say, Jumpy. If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. No, you can't. I I can't take you with me. I'm trying to think of other things Why? to say in an accent now. We're, well, you know what's. You in can there. say anything in an accent. I know, That's but like, an accent. but like, an, and actually make it legible as opposed to just me sounding like sort of vague oh, sure. European mush. Oh yeah, we probably can skip Let now. Me go thank you, thank five. you, the besties in the chat. Yeah, I think we're gonna very quickly get a few endings. Uh, this is my hope. Um, yeah. The fact that we have sort of gotten through all the the connection points. Um, oh, we can flowchart now. Well. We can just skip the room. We can just. Oh, nice. Oh, it is. It is unlocked. So we jump to here. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That's sick. That That's is great. Sick. That rules. Imagine doing this on a DS. Well, we really don't you have can't. A on the DS, you have to replay it every single time. And I don't think That's I what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. Imagine having to do that. It's why I never finished. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's eight you next, have to be a right? real committed kind of freak. Yeah, I just didn't have it. I really like this game. Um but I think that that would have broken it for me. I think it, that is, yeah, that was my breaking point with it. And it's a bummer. Um, I just don't want to press B that much, you know? Okay, so wait, this is all, I'm just good to jump down to like here? Yeah. Wait, so what was it that we got just now? Um, we just picked keys. the eight room. I don't know. I th Assuming we have to get all these keys to get to, uh, when we get all of these, we'll come here. Um, and that will unlock the, um, th that'll unlock this route here on the left. Yes, the selectable flowchart is in VLR, uh, the sequel, which is why I finished that one. Um, I think, could we just jump down to... to That's here? what Deep Flaw is saying, but... But wouldn't we miss the new dialogue from having these keys on there? Are there new, is there new dialogue from these? Like, I don't know how much, I don't know how much there is genuinely. Um, I feel like a lot of it's gonna be incidental. Go into the room first. I think the new dialogue starts with the red lock usually, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, we could just jump to the red lock. I wanna, I wanna just like pop us into here to make sure we're like on the path. Okay. Um, Handle. I believe. No, the there's new dialogue in the, the keys floor. too. Okay. If this, if the, if there's no, if there's. If it stops, it it'll did, be new, right? It just stop. But we went to the second you thing, know, so the new dialogue might have been in the first one. Wait. Oh, whoa. This is new. Yeah, speaking of experiments. Speaking of experiments, have I told you about my dead sister? Have I told you about Black Santa? <laughs> <laughs> there was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Oh, let's go. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. I'm so glad we're just getting right to this sort of thing. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Okay. Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. Even a but rat? Exit B is electrified. Yeah. Like what? The rat can't leave through it. How come Santa and Lotus have so much science so, knowledge? Well, Lotus well, is a woman in STEM, so put in this situation. that's why she knows. And Santa's on 4 Which exit would yes. the rat choose? <laughs> Santa is the most 4chan character in this game. B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B Unless is it's June that is actually the most 4chan. Wow. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. 
Yeah, no, she is of actually course, like, like deep said, on X or something. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally this is like finds exit A. Famous test hmm. stuff, isn't I it? This is like I feel like I've heard this irrelevant. before. It's yeah, it's weird that like a lot of the stuff is real, and then there's Ice Nine. I love it. <laughs> like I, I <laughs> do genuinely just adore that yes. they're like, yeah, but we're taking this thing from Vonnegut mm -hmm. and making it real. See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Using hundreds of different rats over several generations. Oh, and so they were haunted by the ghost yeah. of a rat king. I really think that's results. where we're going. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. Whoa. Hmm. I wonder what we could call that. But that wasn't the most impressive part. <laughs> The same it's experiment sang. was conducted in another laboratory, <laughs> far from the original one. Hello, my it's honey. It's Hello, a my baby. Houston song. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's way better. No, on second thought. No, I like Hello, my baby. Really yeah, <laughs> the fucking uh, Michigan J. Frog. 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 Yeah. Frog. Yeah. Experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. Got people in the chat poking through the scientific the theory of these scientists. Come in contact like, yeah. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. I also think this is fake because it's a video game. What did it see? Strangers in the chat said. Are you suggesting something like telepathy? Oh my god. They were passing information. Oh, is this? Are we gonna get morphogenetic field again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was. I love the morphogenetic field. It's so fun. <laughs> that's to what say. I meant when I was like, I wonder I what we could call this. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not I thought you were talking scientist. about genetic memory. I don't know what made him do but that. that's a bit more Metal Gear, I think. Or Metal Gear. Metal Gear. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Nope, it's definitely morphogenetic fields. It's definitely the morphogenetic field. Let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. Okay. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Oh, right, she's feverish. We did skip rooms on the hey, flowchart, yeah. There's something I want to ask you. Oh. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Because it was C-shaped. Well, I mean, it seems idiot. like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? <laughs> Get his ass. If they needed to motivate the rats to escape. They could have, I don't know. Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? Damn. Damn. You know, the word emergency this reminds comes me of something. from the same root as the word emerge. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah, now that you say it, that, one of those words is in the other one. That's crazy. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out or appear, or rise out of something If you're else. trying to tell me something, Santa, I'll accept you. Yeah, so I think what's that going he's... to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Yeah, he's got that backwards, I think. Yeah. It's the situation that emerges yeah. in emergency. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> I love it. Either you he's track, so dumb. Your focuses, pulls up what you need. <laughs> Dude, who thinks if you, like, it would actually work if you do so could double jump in real life, you could fall from any height? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. <laughs> there had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Damn, does it remind you of anything? <laughs> Literally, no. Oh. I was thinking like the game that they're in. I don't see a lot of inspiration from these people. Oh, it put me back here. 
Oh, that's weird. Maybe it just like popped me in for the new stuff. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do this room again. <laughs> the key's unlocked. Okay, should we? We should. Keep going? Yeah, I'm going to click on this one. Should we go back here is what I was going to ask. Where? Um, Up here to see if there's an extra cutscene in the same way that we might sure. have missed. I feel like if the key's unlocked, then we would have gotten it. We we'll, we can keep we can keep rocking and then check it later. Well, when Deep we're not. Deep is probably worth it. So I'm gonna listen to Deep Claw. Top, top one is puzzle. The ones below are cutscenes. So we can just click on the cutscene and then. Oh, there's no one below here. And I'm, I don't want to do the lab again. Yeah, sorry, lab. Sorry, lab. I checked. You're though. done. I checked that. You checked, yeah. Cargo room doesn't have one. I wish it let me zoom out, but I think I'm just clicking these wrong. Yeah, you don't know what's in it, but I, we're not sorry to treat you like game FAQs. It's just I know that you're going to have an answer most of the time. Should we test and do the cargo room again now that we know? Yeah, sure. It, this one might drive one... me crazy. Oh, wait. I, oh, it's I, there. I needed to double click. Keith, this is so annoying. You need to double click. Okay. So I'll... now we should recheck the other one. Yeah. Computer locker. Yeah. Computer locker. Oh, hey, you a tricky game. Idea? I'm gonna just make sure. I'll put it on auto. I just won't want to see the dialogue more What's than anything. Up? I put it on auto, yeah, then same, immediately same click. <laughs> I um, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? There's a chance we've seen Junpei, this one. Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say like? Anything weird? Oh, yeah, also thank you to G-Max for the huh? uh, puzzle cutscene well, dichotomy well, thing. Let me think. Oh yeah, he said wibbity wobbity blubbity bloobity. He said Sorry, skibbity, that was weird. He said really skibbity riz, my arm is fake. I mean, he did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said that. I'm pretty sure he said that. Regular person. Which is so like weird that, to but... say in the 20 aughts. Oh yeah, I'm sorry for saying that. I feel like such an old person whenever I make it. skibbity toilet jokes. Yeah. Okay. It's just uh, the Michael hey, Bay uh, movie got announced yesterday. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should. I don't think he's in the coffin. That movie's not coming out. That movie's not coming out. I don't think he's in, in the coffin, guys. I don't if know. If you don't mind, uh, I was hoping. I think he's in the coffin. If, uh, I think he's banging away in the coffin. <sighs> Is Maybe. Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? Oh, we might have seen this before. This might be the scene where we learn about the arm. Yeah. No, we no, learned about the arm he wasn't earlier. Born blind. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe kid, I'm wrong. It's hard to remember when we skip around where we yeah, are. Yeah, it is. Really bad car accident. Because I think I don't know. Anyway, he we'll let this roll. After that. And his arm. His arm. Yeah, my brother's left arm is. Um, it's not like it's a, a normal. The word prosthetic is there for a reason. It's fake. Uh. It's not a real arm. Cedar Phoenix says, Michael yes, Bay, skibbity toilet. Yeah, sorry that you had to find out this way. Yeah, sorry. Here's what happens. This is my theory. Who knows? I think these deals are sometimes public. Oh. Yeah. He, you go, Michael Bay, we oh. want to make a skibbity toilet movie. We'll give you, you, me? you know, X Look, million dollars I'm to make a skibbity toilet movie. About all that painful stuff. But we'll give you a million dollars just for signing on to it. Yeah, that is. And then he goes, oh, then yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> And so then, then he's perfectly safe to, in two years when nothing's happened, go, I'm um, backing out of this. I'll take my million dollars for doing nothing and goodbye. Yeah. It's, um... um who's the, uh, Joe Esterhouse? Is that his name? The fucking 90s screenwriter? Oh, I don't, I don't know. The guy who did, um, uh, those, he did two, he did Showgirls and the oh. other Paul Verhoeven one with Sharon Stone. Um... Um... That's Joe not... oh. Esther. Yeah, Joe Esterhouse. Yeah, he's like the highest paid screenwriter ever. And he was like huge in the 90s for selling scripts for millions of dollars. And then most of those most of his movies were bad. Yeah. Uh, although it's because they kept rewriting his scripts and he kept being like, take my name off of the credits. That he rewrote my movie and then the movie me. comes out. The movie comes out and it's bad. And then people are like, Joe Esterhouse is a hack, fucking this guy. And look, I'm not here to say whether he is, he is a hack or not, but people kept paying him $4 million to make movies and then totally rewriting his scripts. That's yeah. the only thing you're paying him for is his scripts. Anyway, anyway. 
Anyway, <laughs> he was getting millions of dollars to, to just to make like a four page outline for movies that then don't even end up getting made. It's crazy. That's it's a good the, it's a good grift if you can get in on it. I yeah, guess. Yeah, the film industry kind of drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, want to jump into these nine photos? No. I would love to. Uh, Frank Scenario says, I can't believe I was too busy listening to Media Club Plus to see the first hour of the stream. Listen, as don't long worry. As you're riding the wave. You're you're good. And you missed nothing. I mean, you missed a, a long story you from missed, Sylvie. Yeah, you missed a half hour um, story. It'll be on YouTube though. It's a great story. You should go. You should go watch it. But we've had we've made no progress in the game. We've made a little. We just we just learned about a rat right. experiment. We Let, did please try. don't eliminate that. We learned that. about the rat now experiment. Yes. All yeah, nine that's fair. We just need to insert okay. these cards into the slots at the front of each box. Uh, by the way, be be sure to uh, subscribe to Media Club Plus. Get those downloads on the, box, the yes. analytics so that I can see that people uh, are listening yeah, to the show. Yeah. Really awesome. Go to friendsofthetable.cash and uh, subscribe to support the show. Just recorded the, uh, the DBZ first bonus episode last night. Oh, and yeah, we did. I had a blast. In the right box. It was very fun. And we're starting Ants uh, next episode. So for instance, we're recording Ants of Ace on, uh, two on days from Saturday from yeah. with, uh, with Austin's going to be on that. Episode. Yeah, special announcement. Austin's going to be on the there. You know that by now, but I don't two, think that... Th is that so mentioned on. on the most recent No, episode? I only learned... I only confirmed oh, this like three uh, days ago. I see. Oh, okay. Huh? That's going to be fun. What is it? Oh. Hey. What did oh I June, might need to Oh June okay? collapsed, okay. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go check on her. Did this happen? No, she got box. better last All time. Right. Uh, um <laughs> just put the cards Good read. in the boxes. I might just like read back a little bit just because we were talking and I missed yeah. stuff. We all wanna you just insert these cards in the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box? Yes. Uh, yeah, oh my god, wait, I think I remember, I think I know what's going on here. So, June collapses. Okay, yeah. We, we actually didn't miss much, they were just talking about okay. you need to put the numbers that correspond to yeah. our faces. Okay. Uh, Holly asks, is, is Ace you. just drugging people? This is a theory that we floated last time. Because there's the pharmaceutical company, right? Cradle Pharmaceutical. What happened? And he has the needle full of uh, soap oil that he stand? miraculously was only sleep for a few minutes oh, that's from sorry. digging. That's true. I didn't think about that. I just tripped. We, we talked about it last time. Give me that. Now yeah, but I forget. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I, I tripped We do a lot box. of talking into microphones. We do a lot of talking. Oh, she just oh did a God. funny comedy pratfall. Huh. She tripped. Oh. You're still warm. Okay, so she does still have I the fever. fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? <laughs> She's a klutz. She's a klutz. I think she's an idiot. Still. I think she had two <laughs> edibles. <laughs> I think she's probably still a little messed up. She keeps calling me Brad Shoemaker. All right. Let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. 60 frames per second, jumpy. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. <laughs> I like that I line read. A little medicine and some sleep. Yeah, she sounded like kind of fine. like normal. Yeah, she sounds normal here. Medicine. Medicine, huh? <laughs> medicine. Well, I get in touch with anyone outside. I think I've I'll heard of such a thing. For you easy. Why would Ace be able to do that? Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. What? Dun dun dun! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> He's pure evil. Yeah. Even if we didn't know. Even if we didn't he's... know. Wow! Wow! Oh my god! That's a great reveal. That's a he's great the... reveal. He's the fur. He he did the first nonary game. Yo! Holy shit. Holy shit, that rules. That's a great way to drop it, too. Santa, hey, Santa, why didn't you mention this earlier? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm so <laughs> glad that we clicked on this. Oh my fucking god, yeah. thank you guys. Oh my god. If we didn't know this and they just mentioned it when we jumped to the ending, I would have gone insane. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back to letting the dialogue continue. Your flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soper. What? 
<laughs> did we know that already? Or did he no. just... Uh, we suspected. Okay. I've heard of that we suspect before it. somewhere. We do know about the second, the I first I heard about that before game. somewhere, maybe Silver 10 Hill. minutes ago. Yeah. It's an anesthetic that's a That needle looks weird. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. Look at the end of that needle. Yeah, it's weird. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. This is not where I thought this scene was going, by the way, when I was said that earlier. Widespread use within their police and military forces. Whoa. <laughs> hey, he's it the most evil. Crowd suppressant and room clearer. What? It was what? Ethical. In like a ga in, in its gaseous ID form? Truck. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. Wait, why didn't this he say any of bombs. this when he gave himself soap oil beta? It became popular in front of as everybody. Soon as it was made public. I with many governments placing large orders. I I don't know. Sorry, I got really distracted. This was what Demand was in the grenades skyrocketed. that Zero of course, used. That meant cradle pharmaceuticals it has to be. It, it has to be. Yeah, you're 100% right. Oh, I'm so excited. I love I, I love this phase about of that. Games. I forgot about the gas grenades. Yeah, the right? Himself. Yeah. You heard it from the old man himself. From Ace. Why would he reveal that? Yeah. By the number four door at the central stairway when we were searching the second class room. Huh. Oh, they were in the other room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? I do back then. love that it's like, oh yeah, the alternate rooms did have different and stories being told to company. the other characters. Uh, the voice of Fox says, I guess he beats tear gas. Um, yeah, tear gas is painful, but you don't want up. to be knocked you know? unconscious. So no. That's really bad. You, yeah, you losing consciousness is oh. not good, especially around the police. About something? And especially like when you can't like no, lie nothing. down yeah. somewhere and you just fall over, uh, you could easily die. It's much better to be in pain than to be knocked unconscious by As a gas. someone who has fainted before, uh, suddenly losing consciousness is not fun. Oh, um, uh, you fainted? Yeah, I used to be. I, I was on a medication that made you me You used really, to be a fainter? I used to be a fainter. Um, I was on a medication that made me lightheaded, or made me really dehydrated and lightheaded. And uh, did you get a fainting couch? Very Victorian. No, I uh, I almost concussed myself and then changed my uh, HRT regimen. <laughs> oh, that's worse. Yeah, it's fine. It's working better for me now. Uh, yeah. Hey, be careful with uh, spironolactone. Anybody out there who's taken hormones, it can d make sure your dose isn't too high. Mm -hmm. Um. We cutting back to Ace now, and he—I really like that he's just going. Uh, secrets out. What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself. All right. Yes. I'm gonna go back to manually uh, bopping through these. I think. Santa, could you take care of her? So we missed less. I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. We're getting the juicy stuff now. Sure. Okay. What are you okay, doing? Hold on. I have stuff. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's, let's talk. I have questions. Let's to hit, work hit through. Me. Lotus yes. is involved in the crate is in Cradle Pharmaceuticals because her children were kidnapped to participate in the previous nonary game. Yes. Ace runs uh, Cradle Pharmaceuticals, is what we've Or at learned. least in the thing that was just like this from before. I don't know if they were I think we've with said that that was a no They said that that was a, a previous... No Have they not said that that was a previous nonary game? I think that I've said it just because that's what this is. And now, yeah. I'm, I'm, now I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, I guess they don't... I guess they didn't never said that it was a numbers game it like this one is a numbers game. It was kind of implied when Seven was investigating it, which is his connection yeah. to all this. So, so Lotus is involved because her children were kidnapped. Uh, Seven is involved because uh, he was investigating it. Yes. Um, we have no idea Clover or Snake's connection. Yeah. We have no idea Santa's connection. Oh, yeah. but Santa has a dead sister. That's what, yeah. Santa that's, has a dead sister. Santa has a dead sister. And so that's a big, like, obviously, I think she probably died in the Nonary game. I think that Seven said that there was someone that, that he couldn't save that didn't come, get yeah. out. Yeah. And so maybe that was, that was uh, Santa's, Santa's sister. sister. And then Ace is the... <laughs> Santa's sister sounds like something a Southern woman would say <laughs> instead of swearing. Ace is the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. 
why the fuck is Junpei here? It's That's just a- got to be because it's June and she just wants to kill all these people and wants to use it as a chance to get close to us. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, it's like. Yeah, I mean, why does she both want revenge on Cradle Pharmaceuticals, which is the there's so many people here who are connected to the Cradle Pharmaceuticals kidnappings. It's crazy that Ace just said it. It is crazy that Ace just said it. Because I guess maybe he didn't figure it out. Maybe he didn't he figure out to, what's going on. He's just saying it to Santa. How could he not figure out that that's what's going on? He did this, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. He he, he put a bunch of kids on this boat. <laughs> okay. You put those uh, kids on that like, boat, oh, Wow, what a coincidence. I got kidnapped and put in a weird game in the same boat that I kidnapped. It's always people. nice to meet a but fan. Now, I guess now I'm like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he isn't on it. He might be. And now he's doing something with these cards. Then why would he kill Lotus to escape instead of just going, this is my game, I don't have to do shit? Yeah, I don't know. And we still don't know what Mr. <laughs> Nine's deal is. No Smoke is. Fire says, uh, I would like to reiterate my theory that Ace is a moron. He is definitely a moron. I don't know. I think he's not a moron. I think I he's know. just evil. He might just be evil. You want me to keep, keep uh, pushing through this? Yeah, sorry. No, you're all good. I'm glad that we got that little no, rundown. No, I'm sorry. Of... No, no. What happened? <laughs> I'm going to apologize, Keith. Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, okay. because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. Now I think it's going. Oh, I think it's going. Weird. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't care what religion you're in. Like, Presbyterians anyway, are fine I'll by me. Leave the rest <laughs> to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. Yeah, the soap roll you didn't take might be. I'm looking at cards that have tired him out. Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Hmm. He said that he may be developing presbyopia. What is that? Oh. Uh, I think that's face blindness. Well, put simply. It right. A condition where the this is. It did come up before. Cases. I thought. Yeah. Okay. I thought this was gonna. Um, In other words, my face would look the, the reveal that he even yours. He has prospo- prospognosia. She just said it. Pro- prosopagnosia. Oh. oh, that's different than what he said. Presbyopia is losing the ability to focus. So they oh. can't According to chat. Which is Thank how you, most Jeff. people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Oh, farsightedness. Okay. Maybe, maybe he's got prosopagnosia? That's what I'd jump to first, too. Huh. He looks so sad. He has the posture of an Aquid character. He does look very sad. Well, he he's thinking about all the crimes he's committed it. and enabled. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. And then is it going to just take me? Carter's in box one. Snakes is in number two. Okay. I thought it was going to take I me out of here. I just need to do the same for the rest. <laughs> One man is this, he looks like he injected himself with spo- soporal beta. <laughs> he did it again. And finally, the ninth man. He's hooked. He's hooked on one. it. Yeah. <laughs> on his own supply. Yeah. Oh, they opened. Got yeah. Another beta oh. fiend. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah! Nine. Oh, pins? don't remind me of this nine puzzle. Nine sandwich skewers. I guess I'll take them with me. <laughs> Guys, we gotta make nine sandwiches <laughs> to get out of this room. Oh, uh, okay. I could crush a sandwich right now. I I can always crush a sandwich. All right, it's time. I think yeah, we went through all of them. It's time. Leave no one behind. Leave no one behind. That's what wow. this is called. Oh, I'm excited, Keith. We might finish this game today. This might be, yeah, I think that we absolutely are going to finish this game today. Oh, it clicked. I have fried fish in the Look, fridge, so I shouldn't have a sandwich. Oh, there was a my leftovers. second dialogue. Oh, my God. You guys are right. I did miss something. Thank you so much for telling me that. There was the coffin. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. We might have seen this. Mommy. This might be the gun in the coffin, though. <sighs> Yeah, the gun. We've seen the gun in the coffin. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, 
Really? Whatever. Just open it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna t do the skip test. A small key and Yeah, I'm gonna do the skip test on this one because this is stuff we've seen. Classic skip test. Classic fodder. skip test. Classic technique. Nope. Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah, great. And this I'm just gonna let go because it's nice to have the context of the 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 end game stuff. I don't need to skip through now. Look, it's Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Oh, weren't they dead last time, or am I wrong? They were. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? Ooh, the track I like is back. When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover. Oh, there was one where us. Clover disappeared. That was the in the last episode we got this. Oh yeah, okay. So this isn't the one where the they died. Time. This is the this is the this other four that where she disappeared and then we went and found Lotus dead <sighs> and then we got stabbed. Okay. Do you want to jump to the, the new stuff then or? Uh, I think we can play it through. Yeah, okay. I don't there mind. This is, you know, the dramatic the moment. Door one. Yeah. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have I forgot that they do the their side. little, like, sentence trade off thing. Yeah, they're back we and forth. For a while, but Clover didn't come out. It's so visual novel pacing. For her, but she I didn't really answer. like it. So I kicked down the door. Oh God, we got to make sure room. each character is getting dialogue. But. Hmm. It was empty. Also, Ace just doesn't get a talk spread here. <laughs> Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. It is funny that it's delivered like they pre-planned going back and forth instead of that they keep cutting each other off. It feels very alibi. We ran after her. It course, does. But... <laughs> like, well, obviously we didn't find her. They've had to plan this to make sure that like nobody got mad at them for like yeah. gone. losing her. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? Yeah, without voice acting, this might read more as interrupting each other. It might just be the delivery that's uh, doing that. No. Oh yeah, yeah, totally the delivery. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet, pig. She's not here. No, she isn't. More people right. gotta just in case put, we should go uh, take a look in the shower room. High-powered executives on murder boats. Yeah, shout out to murder boats that this contain is, is only high-powered executives. Woke zero shower room. <laughs> Nonary so game gone woke. Is, she might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. I'm so glad we get more. Good. The room's still open. Oh, right. I remember this. No luck. I don't think we're going to be doing any puzzles I today. She's here. I think there, that you're right. There Maybe might we'll be like one. true ending one or something. The smell is horrible. But like, we've done all these The far rooms. left route might have a puzzle. That's true. You're right. Let's check the back. The far left sure. route. Woke zero strikes again. <laughs> no, she's not here. Snake, just where did your sister go? <laughs> Why are you talking Where's about the Snake's blood? body? Yeah. Uh, such a uh. horrible way to go. The skull shattered. The left arm's hideously twisted. Is wait, this when he mentions wait, yeah, left arm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thank fucking you. idiot. Bones. You dumb fucking idiot. Bones. Bones. Wait a second. Bones. Bones. <laughs> Bones. I just had an idea. Bones. I just had an idea. Bones. Anybody ever thought of that? Thank you, everybody, for putting bones <laughs> in hard brackets in chat. Oh, I love that. Uh, My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal... First time chat. Bones. Love it. The accident hurt him really bad. We love a first time chat, Bones. <laughs> Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Bones. Jumpy? Bones. 
I have to move away from the microphone to do that. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. It's fun I'm to do. Still working on mic positioning with my new mic. Ah, uh, yeah. Another person whose first time they've said anything in our chat is Bones. I'm so happy. <laughs> Junpei, we Jun, do love a first time chat, Bones. Guys? Okay, but now we're on the now we're on that other route. We are. Did, we did sure are. Happen? Clover is Clover is dead. Shit. What? I thought it said everybody gets out. Yeah. In the first class bathroom. Oh no. Just like Elvis. Maybe there's never a way to save Clover except when Clover only saves herself. Hmm. <laughs> Stop doing Aquid pose, man. Oh no. The one where Okay, do theory. The one where everyone gets out. Yeah. Is the only one where where uh, sorry the, the one the most people that can get out doesn't include clover i don't know that the math works on this and so then snake is the villain of the next nonary game oh what's the next game called why is she dead like that <laughs> because why, why is she got weird yeah why is she why is she posing like uh alba in the bed huh? the next game is virtue's last reward this is virtue's US last that? reward yeah clover Clover. Her waste on fuck blue lives. Why? Why did this happen? She was so cunty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if this is like. Clover. I don't know. If this we is never like loved anyone more line. than right before she killed us. After she killed everyone else. Yeah. No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Son, why are you asking her out now, man? Let's get, let's get out of here. Let's hit up a bar. Are you all right? Something about the way Clover died makes me want to ask you out right now. <laughs> Do you think yes. you could lie down like that? I, I think so. You should get some rest. Yeah, they did not say what killed her. I think it might be implied to be suicide. Um, just the way that they are not immediately being like, oh, who did this? But... Right, because they she didn't get the axe, I guess. So. Yeah, I don't know. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Oh, they might have described it more in the novel. You're right. Let me check. Should I check? Content warning. Hmm? For what? Was it? What? Oh, a gash beneath her shoulder blade. No. Yeah. No. This was not self-inflicted. She this was murder. murder. For the for the game for the stream. There's murder. Yes. I didn't know that there was a content warning thing on Twitch. Oh, no, I just meant, I didn't think it was on Twitch. I just meant like content warning for people watching. Oh, like, okay. It, you know, it's a, it's there's a, not a built in. I thought you were saying there's a built in content warning thing that I no, didn't know. No, 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 no. I just didn't want to like trigger anybody. You know, that's a heavy thing if it, they're going to get into the like first to find deep descriptions of it in novel mode. Sure. Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover, why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. Oh, we gotta I got to that checks out. by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys, I found her, but it's bad. <laughs> hey, guys. She's in the bathroom <laughs> in the first class cabin. Come quick. Or something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. A Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. So I had to pull my pants up really quick because I was just taking a quick number two. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh. You think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? Damn. For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow ha. me. He is a cop. He is a cop. Most likely to kill. A closet? <laughs> yeah. There was an officer involved stabbing on the gigantic... This is the reason. This safe. Oh. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. Oh, right. I do remember that. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I 
figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. Numbers. I love all the number, the the words in um, in brackets we're getting. It's very Zelda red text. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door five again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. <laughs> yeah, that's not how those work. You got to do something to it, man. Huh? I can crack any safe. Yeah? Yeah. I'd believe that. I could see you with like a like a, a little stethoscope on, like holding it up to yep. the, the safe while you're I like... do it. Yeah, that's how I do it. Steth stethoscope style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. Uh, old school. Yeah, old school. This is... Stethoscope is the thing doctors have to listen, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I was worried I got it mixed up with a periscope. No, no. <laughs> I can. This is tough. This is rare. I can crack a save with a periscope. Okay, cool. That's really yeah. impressive. Yeah. Rust. Rust. Oh, the survival shooter. If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? What? Where was there rust? On the floor? If there was rust on the floor, I get it. Under oh, there was one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Underneath the safe, there's a pile of... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, huh? Oh? <laughs> um, uh, uh, no Smoke Fire says, Patreon goal Maybe for Keith to crack a safe with a periscope. True, but it's a run button Patreon goal. Yeah. Sorry, Sylvie. Go That's to okay. contentburger.biz. That's our three thousand dollar a month goal is crack a safe. You'll note that we are not close. <laughs> Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door. The ninth man's body is behind there. The ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I, should I cannot tell you how much I case. love the ninth man as just a a concept. A, as a phrase, as a yeah. as a as a title, as anything, the ninth man just has like a great. It's very Philip K. Dick to me. Yeah, there's a good phrasing to it, and it like yeah, it's a it's a it's very it's got a very cellar door quality to it. Uh, adds to the mystery. Yeah. Oh the hell! This this smell is. Oh. Hurt blurk. Oh. Hurt blurk. Oh. He yarped. He hurt Blurk. Why didn't the Wait. other room stinky? Fake body. It's it's gone. Oh? His bracelet. It's gone. It was right next to the Yep, glasses. called it. Called it. Yo. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... I'm busy spewing. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? No, I was yarfing in the hallway. Yeah. And then I yeah, found I something roused. by accident. Did you find something? <laughs> Lotus, I threw up. I found, I not found something is what I found. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. What's up? Damn, what the he hell? I guess him. he doesn't uh, want to give it away. Well, I wanted you to take a look at something. Put that away. What is it? Clover. Why are you showing... <laughs> take, a... <laughs> take a look. Where's oh, her bracelet? The door and it's a cur... Oh, wait. You're right. Where's her bracelet? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. That would make sense. And I found this. What? Oh. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know. It's Basic a receipt stuff. to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> well, I did borrow one thing. She loved her Dunkin'. She loved culottes. What? <laughs> I'll never forget how much it. she loved Dunkachino. <laughs> truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. What? Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Okay. What is All right, this? that's not Some bad. Kind of yeah, no, code? it's fine. I at first I was like, this is lame, and then I was like, I guess I think I kind of like that. I do like that. 
Sinister hand means... Oh. Left so, hand. So, left hand. Yes, left hand. Sinister was a term used in heraldry. Oh, she's trying... It's a code that says snake is alive. Yeah. Left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Man, I'd be does such a good PI. I should be a PI. I, I would love that. <laughs> I would love for you to be sort of a... a, a, a Film noir, like hard boiled PI, Keith. Uh, I've been uh, re watching with Isaac uh, Veronica Mars. Never watched it. I had only watched it for the first time a couple years ago after uh, recommendations from other Friends of the Table cast members, and I was like, holy fuck, this show's so good. It's oh. also terrible. It yeah. is, in a lot of ways, it's terrible. It has like the most confusing politics of any show I've ever seen. Okay, but sure. It's it's really good. It's Maybe so I'll good. check it out sometime. I highly recommend. I think, I think that you would really like it. I probably would. I like I like TV shows that are just like easy to put on and do other stuff while, and that was always struck this me. This is not that. Really? Okay. It's not. It is a show to watch. Okay. I, I thought it was like a procedural for some reason. It's not a procedural. It's a Twin Peaks. It's one procedure. Oh. It's it is heavily inspired by Twin Peaks. It is like no one has ever said this to me. It's it is super super Twin Peaksy. I straight up thought it was just a cop show. It doesn't have. It's not a cop show. Veronica Mars. She's a high school student whose father is the ex sheriff. He was fired for trying to investigate the richest man in town for murder. Oh. Uh, and uh, the murder was of Veronica's like best friend. And oh. So she she has picked up the investigation, and so it is a procedural in that it's again it's X Files and it's yeah. construction in that like you really have uh like a lot of sort of investigation per week style episodes and then you have um season premiere sweeps week and uh uh season finale like, like big, big, big arc moments yeah uh where where x files it'll be like the alien plot stuff and yeah. every other episode is a monster of the week it's similar in veronica mars uh except she's in high school like helping her friends with things and then those things sometimes make connections to the bigger thing it's like really really well constructed uh no one's ever like, pitched this that it's well so good it's really really good the third season is a torture it is like i've never seen a team of writers across the whole series come up with like so many reasons that someone would be like falsely accused of sexual assault Oh. In a way that is like tremendously embarrassing to be like, why is it always <laughs> someone being falsely accused? Um, Interesting. But, uh, uh, mm -hmm. And then season three becomes like tremendously about that. Uh, but like, and then the politics in other ways are really confused also. Yeah. But it's like really cool. And in a way that noir often is like messy, like, you know, rich against the poor with the main character who has like an eye for the for the working class. And the, but then also it's like the it's always like the, you know, even when the money leads to the top, it is like the evil of a desperate victim who like ends up taking things too far that that ends up like uh destroying some precious thing yeah uh so it's like very confused and that uh, for Mars is really good i, I cannot might have to hit this up now damn it's so good there's two things sticking out on either side what? of the face someone should have pitched me on this better years ago and i can't i love Kristen bell i think that she's great i think yeah. she's a great actor she's great this is the best thing that she ever was in and i already was a fan of hers i have heard i've heard that before um wait do i w wait hold up is, do we right. gotta hit the left button a bunch left and right left and right. right and left right and left truth is gone truth had gone truth had gone and truth had gone and now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister truth hand gone yeah hmm. gone maybe those two words Truth gone, dawn truth. Oh. Gone had truth. What else could gone and truth mean? I am so confused about. 
I think what else could gone in truth mean? Yeah, and then if we get it wrong, maybe it'll give us another try or we'll yeah, jump back. Yeah, it'll totally give us a new try. What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct, something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. Okay. This is just, I, I think that maybe they don't know that we know that this is trying to say that there's a lie. When truth has gone, there is a lie. I think it might be dumber. I think this might I be. I think that's plenty dumb. No, I think it's plenty I know. dumb to think that we don't know that yet. No, I agree. But him saying something that is right makes me think it's hit the right button three times. Oh, right, like <laughs> right, 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 gone. right. Yeah, like, like. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You could then safely assume that gone means left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> after all, after someone left, they were gone. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so it's right, yeah, right, left, right, left, right, left. I love it. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Sure, man. They clearly sure. refer to their directional right. homonyms. And gone equals I'm left. so glad we never would have gotten there. No. Process of elimination, we let the game do the work for us. Yep. The left I love that. The bracelet. Let them do the heavy lifting. These two things sticking out. So if I... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Truth had gone, so that'd be right. It's the third one. It's the third one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, your truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always saying that. I am truth. What just happened? Wait, did it just... Did it just, like, change number? One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. That's going to be the code to the safe, right? Maybe. Hey, what are those numbers? 1438. Don't worry, shut up. Hmm. Leave me alone. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Yeah, I like lost one, two. Four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. <laughs> God, this, this is actually a great one, four, three, um, three, four, two, one. representation of how it feels to have to remember a game, a number like this in a game. For real, like, actually, like this is usually, genuinely. Usually, I'm Junpei having to remember a series of numbers. One four three eight three four two one. <laughs> and he slugs in chat says sixty frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> One to the right, four to the left. Let's go. We don't have to do and... it. Be snakes oh. fake hand. That'd be great. That like I would. Bingo. I need. I knew it was to know this. where it would go. I knew it was for this. I mean, I did too. Oh, is this some sort of note? It's a receipt. It's a receipt Dunkin for Donuts. Dunkin Donuts. <laughs> 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 ah, shit. A dozen bagels, a box of Joe. It is a lot bigger. Fact number one. By the way, shout out to Dunkin' Donuts. I, I'm a coffee snob. I spend a lot of money on, <laughs> on whole beans. In a heartbeat, I would buy Dunkin' Donuts house blend over Starbucks to like drink at home. Damn. Shout yeah. out to I don't know if we have Dunkin' here. Uh, I'm gonna read this. The Nonary Game. Shout out to Tim Hortons. No, don't fuck him. Tim Hole. Have a Tim Hole. No. What? What are they called? No. What? Are they called? What? what are the Tim? What are the, the Munchkins Tim called? Tim Hole. Have a Tim Hole. What? <laughs> Tim Balls. Have a Tim Ball. Tim what Bit. What are they called? What are they called? Tim Bits. Tim Bit. Yeah, that's the same thing. Tim Hole. Tim Hole is better. That's well, they're called crazy. donut holes. That's what they. That's Tim what they're called. Hole is crazy. That's like an un unbranded. Have a Tim Hall. Hey, what if you jump into a Tim Hall? <laughs> Don't. 
savor a Tim Hole. <laughs> Tim Holtons. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. I'm gonna... <laughs> this happening when we're getting an info dump is crazy. <laughs> A, an info dump from the Tim Hole. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, well done. Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Delirium Tremens. Shout out to just Delirium. Every time I go no, it sounds like I'm falling. That's because I'm moving away from the mic. So I'm glad. <laughs> uh, the only game was played, was played once before, nine years ago. Fact number two, they're called Tim Holtz. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. That's Snake. Wow. So that's how Snake's tied into the game. Yeah, yeah. Fact number three, it was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceuticals CEO, Gentaro Hong Hongo? Oh. Which is Ace's name, Didn't presumably. Oh, right. Uh, they, I was like, it doesn't say Ace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I briefly forgot that they're all using fake names, except for uh, Junpei. Yeah, because he got doxxed by Jun. He Cradle doxed. Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff, Nagisa Nijisaki. Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor, Teruaki Kubota. Majority shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kagachika Musashido. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those. Uh, they didn't get voice acted pronunciation first. I must first. punish them. Yo, for the innocent lives they sacrificed, zero. Do you think there's other people in that group here? This is the only warning they because will receive. I bet one of those names is the ninth man. What we've talked about, one, oh, one of those, they're, one of them is the ninth man. It has I, to be. I believe you 100%, and that will be my downfall. No, I'm <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm the, I orchestrated the nonary game. I'm um, zero. It's, uh, yeah, so who, oh, uh, I guess, yeah, Mutton Bandit says it's feasible he wasn't CEO then, but is now. That That's is true. true. He could be another name oh, on the list, though, then. But like, I think, I think Santa said that he started uh, the company. He, I think he did. Um, that maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. He but, was at uh, the very least CEO six years ago when they developed. It's his, yeah, he described it as his own company, his and he was the company. CEO okay. when they invented Soparil, which was six years ago, which was so something that the, I or after the oh, game. whose idea was it to use fake names? I think it might have been Lotus's, but I could be wrong. Um, I thought it was. I can't was remember. It's been so yeah, long. I can't remember. Uh, but I think it's interesting because I remember at some point being like, why did they insist on using fake names? Like, who is that ever going to help? The only thing it would do is, like, obscure information yeah. of why are they all here. Uh, chat like, saying surely... it was seven, which could be it an was amnesia seven. Thing. Oh, interesting. Like, he suggested uh, it. Which is funny because he didn't even remember who he was. Yeah. <laughs> well, that <laughs> might be why he suggested it. Yeah. Um... This is the only warning they will receive. This is this is good. We're getting the good shit. We're getting the good shit finally. Oh my god. I do wish they had spread a little bit more of this out. Me too. But hey, we're here now. Also, we did all three like bad ends in a row. Because, I'm sure there's a way to get got, this sooner. Maybe. If we got those names, like it would have been a big feeling, but it wouldn't have meant anything because we don't know any of their fucking names. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they have to save this for late when the um, pharmaceuticals oh, thing is revealed, right? I remember this now. Thank you, Mutton Bandit. So Seven didn't want Zero, who could be watching, to get more information. Right. Which is stupid because he found you at your home, you dumbass, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's already got you in a death game. What else could he... What What information could help he him? The rules are this. set. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Deepa says that these are better in the sequels, and I think that is probably true. I I feel like I didn't have this problem when I was playing those other ones. 
Um, we almost got this ending the first time. God, that would have ruled. One Irocosm says, it's very funny when someone accidentally gets this ending on their first playthrough. Is that even possible? Wouldn't you get sent to the bad end because you haven't unlocked the keys? Yeah, wait, I don't know. Oh yeah, you get stopped somewhere in here oh. and kicked to the title screen. Deep Floss says, uh, uh, yeah, it should be said, you almost picked this ending the first time, which yeah. I was very scared of. That's funny. The keys are naturally unlocked for this route going eight, uh, Through five, five eight, eight, six. six. Oh, cool. Wow. Well, we're here we're geniuses. now. <laughs> we're secret geniuses. That's why. It, it was just a yeah. fluke that we didn't get the good ending first. You're so right. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person <laughs> I suspect to go to the hospital? is really the culprit. Oh. Wait, then you're saying? Yeah. I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Yo. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. Ace. It's Ace, yeah. It's Ace. It has to be. Cause, cause Snake. Wait, but didn't he realize that Snake isn't killed because he's got a fake arm? That's the part of this that I don't. I'm not. Maybe he's gonna reveal. With. Maybe he's gonna reveal that Snake isn't actually dead. He's somewhere on the boat. Maybe, yeah. Might want novel for this if it doesn't force you. Yeah, let's give it a try. We, got we don't have left. a lot of time left. Let's go. One by one, they follow Junpei out the bedroom. I'm going to try and be quick with these. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Junpei stopped in front of door number three and turned around. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Huh? I love why? when we got these chains. If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Oh. Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. Is he... What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Don't they have to hit the dead? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like <sighs> Junpei's doing mind games like with the cart, the, the paper and the thing. What about you, Ace? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It is, uh, it's fine as long as you don't go in. They wouldn't have to hit the dead. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, you well. have to like pull the trigger. Sure. Oh, okay. I, I understand. Yeah, because there's a little lever. Quickly, they pressed their palms onto the red. Once they had finished, they stepped away from the door as Junpei had instructed. Three asterisks shown from the red's display panel. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. Yeah. You don't actually need a hand. Junpei approached it and held the okay. bracelet over the scanner. This is something that we've figured out already. I think so. <clears throat> He made quite sure he didn't place his palm on it. Instead, only brought his bracelet near it. Because you'd need to know this to for Clover to have escaped in our first ending. Right. Yeah. The fourth asterisk appeared. I knew it. It says fuck. It's censored. Just as Junpei had <laughs> it was possible to authenticate without placing one's palm on the red so long as the bracelet was brought near it. Junpei pulled the lever down. What? Door three opened like a hungry mouth. Nine long seconds passed. All right, and then it closes again. And the door shut, unfed. Wow. Junpei like walks. a mouth. Yeah. 